Hello everyone. We're going to do a little back strengthening series today. So I can't overemphasize how important it is to strengthen the back muscles, especially when you're hunched over, if you're hunched over a lot over a phone or a computer, or if you're older it um, and you might tend to fall, it will help prevent fall falling. So if you want to add weight to some of these exercises, a simple thing you can do is just grab a can of beans or tomatoes or soup or whatever you have. Try to make sure they're the same weight, but that's a nice way to add weight if you want to only, but don't force yourself if that's um, too much. Don't just do it without weights, but this is a nice homemade weight. <laughs> so we'll put those, if you have them, uh, if you want to use them at the top of your mat for later. I'll tell you when. So come on to your, oh, let's start with just rolling our shoulders. So we want to just kind of let our shoulders loosen up. So bring them forward, up, back, and down. Just loosen and stretch everything, right? This is so simple, such a simple thing to do to stretch this whole area. Good. Just, there we go. Now we're going to come on to our belly. I angled my mat, so hopefully this is going to be, I tried to get the best position to get most of my body in here. <laughs> okay, so sphinx position is our starting position. And that simply means that you're going to put your elbows under your shoulders, hopefully slightly ahead of your shoulders, if you're able to, maybe an inch or so ahead of your shoulders, right? And sphinx is a wonderful position to just do on a regular basis. You could watch TV like this. You can read a book. You can do a lot of things in this position. It's so good for you just to do this position. Um, mild back bends like this nourish our kidney meridian. So the kidney meridians run up the back. And this is a nice way to nourish your kidney meridians. So find your sphinx position and sort of press into the ground and draw your scapula down and lengthen through your crown. So you want to feel your spine lengthen here. Feel your neck long, right? And to start with, you're just going to turn and look over one shoulder and back. Keeping that long neck, turn, look over your other shoulder and back to center. Now look at your belly. Bend and look at your belly and then bring your gaze forward, lift your heart. So this is like a tiny cat-cow movement, right? You're going to round your back as you look at your belly and arch your upper back. Yeah. One more time. A little round. Feels good in the back of the neck. And lift. Good. And then come back to center. And see if you can straighten your hands, straighten your arms. I mean, straighten your arms here as much as you're able to, keeping your shoulders down, right? If you need to move them away from you a little bit, that's okay. So here we're going to keep that long neck and do the same thing where we look over our shoulder and center and look over the other shoulder Good. and center. And let's do it again with the neck roll. So look over your shoulder, and then let your head drop, roll the neck down, and look over your other shoulder, and again, roll the neck down, look back, and come center. Good. And then just lift your legs, bend your elbows, and then straighten them. So we're going to do a little bit of a rock on our belly, keep the legs lifted, and bend, and straighten, and and straighten and then press up if you're able to get a little more rock going let go press up and make your rock a little bigger right and we're breathing Good. and then hold hold and let your arms slide out in front of you pick up your soup cans if you're going to use them or whatever your weights are if you're using weights and we're going to do a slow swim here. So keep the head up, right? You're just looking down in front of you and you're going to pull the navel into toward your spine, lengthen your right arm and lift it and your left leg and lift it, right? 
So opposite arm and leg, lower down. Pull the belly in, lengthen and lift your left arm and your right leg. And lower down. So keep going with this for a few times. First, pulling the belly in toward your spine, lengthening and lifting. Lengthen and lift. Lengthen and lift. Good. Keep breathing. Now, we're going to, next time you come down, we're going to lengthen and lift all extremities and lift. Good. If you're holding your cans of soup, you can't see mine, but they're here. <laughs> Good. You're going to pull your elbows as far as you can into your waist. Keep the legs up. Right? And then reach out as far as you can. And then pull the elbows back. In. Lift. And reach out. Inhale, exhale, just breathe deep. Good. And I'll do some without my cans of soup to show you, right? Let go of your cans if they're too heavy. Pull in and back out. And pull in, last one, pull in, hold, and back out and relax. Good. Let go of your soup cans if you have them. And we're going to slide our hands toward us without bending our elbows, drawing your scapula down your back and coming back up into that original position we were in. I call it like a modified cobra. It's kind of like a modified swan or cobra position. And now lift your right leg and just float your left hand. Now, if, you're, if it's too hard, let your hands go a little bit out farther, okay? And then lift your left leg and your right hand. Yeah, so now we're just doing this without letting our torso fall, right? Without letting our body fall down. <laughs> so just do a little swim. Good. And relax everything all the way out. One more time. Slide your hands toward you, lifting up. Again, don't go too high because you're going to hang out here for a while. It's going to get harder. So we're going to float our right hand. We're going to take it out to the side and follow it back as we reach for our foot, anchoring your left hip down, right? And then lift it up over your head and bring it back. Float your left hand, take it out to the side, follow it back, anchoring your right hip, lift it up and back. And slide out, slide in, right hand lifts. Follow it back. If it's too hard for your shoulder, if it hurts, bend your elbow and just do this or bring your arm to the side, okay? So you have options here. If it's too hard to lift your arm over your head, follow that hand back, just bring it directly side. Lift it up or bend your elbow, okay? So see how many you can do, maybe 50. <laughs> okay, lift up and back, float reach, lift up, and back. Good. And then for the last thing, we're going to slide out. If you want to pick up your cans, you can. <laughs> you might be too tired. Okay. <laughs> Again, lengthen and lift all your extremities here. And you're just going to do a little swim, right? So breathe in and out. An opposite arm and leg, or like you're slapping water, like you're swimming, right? Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Good. And then stop. Bring your arms out from your shoulders, T position. Turn your palms to face your feet. Reach back. Lift as high as you can. Right? Like kind of like locust and called dart and pilates but locust and yoga good bring your arms back to t position over your head take your hands stack them put your forehead on them and rest all the way down like that whoo okay and then we have a well-deserved child's pose coming so pick yourself up bring your knees under you Curl the tailbone under, stretch back on your heels, 
Yeah, and press, if you can, just really press into your mat to press yourself back. You get a nice stretch in your low back here. Good. Relax the neck. Yeah, that was a lot of work. And then for the last thing, we'll do a little cat cow. That'll also help stretch our back, right? So bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. A nice deep breath and then round your back relax your head relax your neck and then arching so it'll bring your heart forward lift your tailbone and then curl and round and again arch reach your heart forward lift the tailbone exhale round One more time and really press your back up on this one so really press and round your back let your head dangle relax it and come back to neutral and there you go so thanks for joining me for a little back strengthening medicine and I'm hoping to get on to some roller uh, segments with the roller. So those of you that have a foam roller, or if you want to get one, um, I'm going to do quite a bit on the roller because a lot of people <laughs> have them, I know, and love them. So we're going to be do going into a whole bunch of roller work soon. Um, so until next time, thanks for joining me.